Welcome back. Spring is here and well, love is in the air. Uh, get this. One of the most searched Google terms last year was how to date during the pandemic, and it is still a hot thing right now. Joining us this morning is Mahari Takai, the owner of EOD Social Media. Uh, good morning to you, Mahari. Good morning, Cleo. Okay, you're looking good in the pink and the hat. Of course, we know that's your staple now. Thank you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's start off with something that's trending right now. People are talking about this. We know a lot of people go on Tinder uh, to look for dates and really talk during this pandemic. But now Tinder is rolling out with background checks. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, nothing feels better than safety, right? So yes. dating people, being able to know that you're in a safe space to date is a big deal. And I appreciate those major steps being taken because it allows you to have the opportunity to meet new people and feel like you're in a safe situation. Yes, uh, Mahari, so you've got some tips for people that are trying to navigate uh, through this world of the pandemic and being safe. Um, do you have some pandemic uh, dating tips for people out there? Maybe a dinner you date? You don't believe it. Listen, here's what I have to say. When it comes to dating, dating is so scary in the virtual space. So it's time for us to take some precaution. So the first thing that I say is dinner date virtually. When you dinner date virtually, it allows you the opportunity to have your partner or your spouse to send the food to you through Uber Eats. That and you guys sit down at seven o'clock, have a virtual date over FaceTime, over Zoom, get dressed up, feel good, light a candle, but at least you're in the safety of your own home. Yeah, and Mahari, I like that because you can really see if the vibes are there virtually before you actually meet in person, maybe. Absolutely, because it's nothing more awkward sitting across the table from somebody you been don't Been there, like, been there, done that. Mahari, what is fake action? What is that? Say it again. Fake action. Oh, oh, vacation. I'm sorry. Oh. Vacation. Yeah, well, this is when you send a storyboard. You create a storyboard with the person that you want to travel with. Maybe you guys want to take a, a long trip one day, or maybe it's something you want to learn about mm. what they want to do or where they want to go. So you create a vacation so that you guys can get to know each other in the places that you want to end up going. Oh, I like that. And you get to see, you know, what their interests are and, and how they feel about the world, basically. What about Absolutely. a movie night? A movie night? Movie theater is yes. opening up so now? Yes, so movie night, and you can still do this at home. It could be a Netflix and chill. You grown. We don't really run that. All I'm saying is <laughs> make sure that you create some kind of connection between you and the person that you like and make sure that the movie choices and those things you utilize to be tools to get to know the person that you are with. Mari, I'm curious about this one. 36 questions. Yes. Do you remember that game? We used to play that game a long time ago, 36 yeah. questions. My wife and I, when we first met, it was the best way to get to know each other. It allowed us the opportunity to ask questions, to learn the things that weren't being said, and to deep dive inside of each other's culture, because that allowed us the opportunity to really know what wasn't being said. So if you want to learn more about your person, the partner that you're with, make sure that you allow opportunity to ask more questions. Mahari, I'll tell you, this is the beauty about social media, because as you're talking right now, someone just sent me a message in my uh, DM as telling me that they have a hard time being their self when it comes to virtual dating. It's awkward. Believe it or not, people are so caught up in looking like what they want to look like or want to appear as. But social media has also kind of mixed people up in that sense. Psychology proves that if you have the ability to appear as you are, people will take you as you are. Don't worry about appearing all cool and, and all together. Listen, we know we just came out of a we haven't even come out of a pandemic. <laughs> We're still in it. We so sure now are. Stop allowing Allow yourself to just be you and be honest with who you are with the person that you're trying to meet. Mahari, great advice. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Before you go, how can people connect with you? Because, I mean, you were just so awesome at teaching people how to navigate through social spaces. Thank you, but they can come with in here on Sunday. Sunday, we're offering our last social media marketing class, and they can come in virtually or they can buy a ticket to be here on Sunday at 6 p.m. We're offering our virtual teaching of social media marketing to help people to get to where they're trying to go. And listen, you need social media. Social media is social currency. So allow yourself to get into the mindset of moving forward in that mindset to get to where you're trying to go, whether in business, relationship, or personal. I like that because social media, it's not going anywhere. Mari, thank you That's so much right. for joining us this morning and you, waking up early. All right.